Hi, this is Peter again from HWBot. Um, I just wanted to show you one trick that helped me increase my uh, my uh, my top overclocking frequency uh, on air cooling. As you can see here, we are running 4.8 gigahertz with uh, two cores and two threads. I disabled the the four other cores and the hyper threading just to keep the the temperature uh, low with or low enough with this voltage. So now uh, we should try to go to 5 gigahertz instead of 4.8. We know that the CPU can do 5.3 gigahertz uh, from earlier testing, and um, we just want to see to see what is uh, going to happen on the MSI board. Now I can already uh, tell you that something strange is going to happen. Otherwise, I would not be making this video, of course. Okay, so we do it easily, and we go up to uh, 50 ratio. So we press F10, and the system will hard reboot. The system will always hard reboot when you change the CPU ratio, which um, can also cause uh, so some some other issues. So whenever you find that the workaround uh, for your particular problem is not having the hard reboot, you have to remind that the CPU ratio will always cause this kind of this kind of reboot. So we try to go up the boot process. try to load Windows. As you can see it gives us the, the options and then we will go into Windows and right before we want to enter Windows it freezes so you don't see the four balls making making the movie uh, making the moves. Um, this is actually quite similar to what happens on a regular Sandy Bridge when you enable ACE and the C states uh, and you, uh, your frequency is, is too high. So we could conclude that the, the, the frequency is not stable, but we can try something else. So we will shut down the system. Boot up again. And do a little trick. So we go back to 45 uh, ratio. It can be 45, 46, 47, 48, anything that was stable before. We set it to 45 and we also enable the internal PLL override. So we save this configuration. It will shut down as it should do when we change the CPU ratio. We let it boot up again. go back into the BIOS, okay. So now we set 50 ratio, all right. We save it again. We have the hard reboot because we changed the CPU ratio. It will boot up again.
and we'll go back in the BIOS and this time we'll disable the Intel internal PLL override F10 and save again. Now it's very important that you only uh, disable the PNL, uh, PLL override after you have done the last hard reboot. So if I would disable it now and change the CPU ratio, the trick will be will be lost. It will not work. You have to do it according to this procedure. Have the PLL uh, enabled, then go to your multiplier with a hard reboot in between and then with a soft reboot disable the PLL and as you can see now the bore is booting up as we go and check CPUC you'll see that the CPU frequency is indeed 5 GHz and the main mode is of course the GDX65 AD this is uh, the workaround for the V1.2 BIOS it's quite possible that future BIOSes will have this uh, embedded already into, into the BIOS okay this was it, hope it helps you see you at HWBOT